good morning, happy peoples. Hope you guys are doing great. Oh my goodness. All right, we stayed up late getting some stuff together for Evelyn's birthday because Evelyn's birthday is today. She is 10 years old, which is awesome, which is amazing. I don't know how I, I don't know how that happened, but it, it happened. We're going to do that. We're going to celebrate a birthday today. Consider yourself an honored guest at Evelyn's birthday today. So we're going to enjoy that as a family with you guys. Uh, also, a little later, we'll probably touch on some stuff. we got a lot of new people here to the channel. Uh, every time every time one of my kids has a birthday, I'm kind of reminded of uh, some of the struggles we've had to overcome. And we'll touch on that a little bit later. But right now, it's all about birthday. Evelyn's birthday. Let's go start the celebration. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh my goodness. Oh. Are you going back to bed? You don't want to have a birthday today? Ev. Garrett. <laughs> Come on. We have a fun day planned. Oh, Why are you in mommy and daddy's bed? I don't know. Ten years old. Ten. How do you feel? Do you feel older? Do you feel taller? Do you feel sillier? Where do you feel? It's tireder. <laughs> tireder. Yeah, preteen. Okay, well, if you want, we can just have uh, Garrett have your birthday. We can just bring him out instead, instead of you. Yeah, and then we get everything opposite. <laughs> there we go. Happy oh, birthday. We go. Happy birthday. Okay. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I did. I tried to not tell her anything. <laughs> that is a huge present. It sure is. And then look, mommy made a photo booth here for you. And you can take booth. pictures with all of these things. Look at this. Wow. Now, a leotard. You can be gold medal winners. Or you can be any kind. Mustache. <laughs> Tumble flip and twirl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a tie. Garrett. Garrett can wear the little tie. The tie. Isn't that cute? Aww. You have to get ready to go because in about an hour, we're gonna go get pedicures. <gasps> What's pedicures? We're gonna go get her toes done, painted, and soaked. And soaked? And soaked. All three of us girls are gonna go. I'm not yeah. going. Yeah. So we eat yeah, breakfast. Yeah, yeah. This is your breakfast. This is a uh, cinnamon Danish. Danish. Danish and some fruit. Wow. It's for your cake, actually. Ooh. You can put that on top of your cake. <laughs> We have something special for you, Ev. Whoa. It kind of fell down a little bit. Can you see it? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you like wow, it? That's so cool. So cool. All righty, we are on our way Woo! to North Pole. Wow, aggressive. It 
Almost yet. You feel so relaxed? Yeah. My legs always feel like jello after. Yeah, they feel like they aren't existing. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, let's head on back home. This is from Grandma. Grandma and Papa. Grandma and Papa. Okay. You're so warm back. Oh. <laughs> 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 I love that. Wow. Right, you know, you know, it's a great <laughs> <laughs> How much of this did you buy me on my birthday when I was 10? Oh, oh, you got one mom. box of sugar cereal of your choice. Yeah, a year. Per the, year. I, I, mean, I don't even recognize you as a oh. mother. Okay, I'm just saying. But I'm grandma. I'm grandma. Thank you, Grandma and Cheryl. Oh, you're welcome. Are you excited? Are you excited? We get to go jump on the Was it fun? What'd you do for the first time ever? What was the I first did time a ever? Back handspring and a front flip. Wow. Yay! Good job. All right, we'll see you guys at home. All righty, well, we made it home. Nana has come over. We're going to do some present opening. Nana had to work today. What's that? Yeah, we're going to move these all to the living room. So we're going to move all of your little presents. Who ran back? Wait, what? Who wrapped that? Daddy. Okay, so Evelyn is gonna get some presents. <laughs> Very excited here. Okay. Did you tell her? Does it matter? Do they know? No, they don't know. 
They're gonna be surprised just like you. Don't freak out, don't freak out, please don't freak out, please don't freak out. More candy. Oh, shit, give me love, give me all your love. Oh, cause I want Damn. you. Damn, this is what I got you. Hope you like it. <laughs> no one else makes me feel this way. Don't know what you do. Hold my hand, could you hold my hand? Look me in the eyes. You and me, yeah, that's all I need, and I'll be all right. I'll be right here. I swear Ooh. that I'll stay here. It right has here. my name on it. Oh. It's a necklace. It's a gymnastic lessons. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. Wow. I swear that I'll stay here with you. I'm exhausted. I feel like I've run a half marathon. This is <coughs> embarrassing, but it was fun. It was. I think she said this was her best birthday ever. It's pretty good. Pretty good. On the mole earlier, there's every time one of our kids have a birthday, I'm kind of like reminded of, I don't know, I would say probably our greatest struggle, would you say, since we were married? What is that? What would that be? You tell me. Our greatest struggle, if you're thinking about birthdays, is probably that it's really hard for me to have kids. Mm -hmm. A lot of new people here. So for those of you that uh, are newer, she uh, has a condition called hyperemesis gravidarum. Pretty sure I said that right. Or HG, as it's called for short. Because when she gets pregnant, she gets straight up bed rest for like six months. Just super, super sick. Like... Yep. I get sick, uh, like not like your normal morning sickness where you'll wake up and you'll feel kind of nauseous and then you might, you know, throw up or something and then kind of go about your day. Or maybe you feel nauseous all day but don't really get sick. I would throw up multiple times, so like 20 plus times a day yeah. when I would be pregnant. And that would last for at least five months, at least. Yeah, it's usually closer to six. Not fun. And then every time I would add a kid to the mix, it would become harder because... I, it would be so hard for me to be able to take care of that other kid. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot. It's but it's sad. It's very sad. After she was pregnant with Audrey, she ended up losing her job mm -hmm. because she didn't realize that she'd well, be kind that of. sick. Yeah, they laid, They were like, they. I guess I don't know, laid me off. But I was like, hey guys, I really can't come in because I'm throwing up. <laughs> I can't all work. the time. I have to sit there and assist with procedures, and it's not good when someone's getting sick. She's a dental assistant at the <laughs> right, time. Right. 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 And they're like, no worries, you take however much time you need. And I was like, okay. So I did that. And it came back. Mm -hmm. Came back and I worked. And, and then when she was pregnant with Evelyn, mm -hmm. which is what we're celebrating today, 10 years. Goodness gracious. 10 years. So I guess a couple things. One is 10 years ago was when she 
did her food storage last video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's literally when she uh, was packaging everything. Mm -hmm. Like right when you're getting the off the tail end of being sick. Yep. You're still pregnant. Yes. I was eight months, eight, nine months pregnant, so I was like real close. Yep. I would still get sick every day, but nothing like it was in that first five to six months. Six months with the girls, five months with Garrett. Because she needed so much attention with Evelyn when she was pregnant with Evelyn, um, I had to take care of her just constantly. And I would go into work whenever I could, but it was, it was pretty hard. And they were understanding at first, but then eventually uh, the company I was working for was bought out by a more of a corporate -y type of corporation instead of a more of a small business feel. And long story short, they ended up literally laying me off because I couldn't come into work. Which is understandable. So, I mean, we yeah. don't really blame them in that sense, but... Don't blame them. But that also... It's just a lot. Evelyn is the same age as what else? GRS controls. GRS controls. Because we got creative. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, all right, so if we're gonna if we're gonna lose our livelihood every time you get pregnant, mm -hmm. um, that's why we started GRS Controls, which is our company. Mm -hmm. Technically, you're the fifty one percent owner sure of the am. company. So <laughs> Just Instead kidding. of working for someone, we just kind of made our own. We made so. our own because we needed to be able to have that flexibility. And he's very smart. Don't let him make you think that he's not smart because he's very smart and very talented in what he does. So I was like, babe, let's just do it. Let's start. Let's start our own. <laughs> Blushing. How do I even? How do I? How do I come back from that? But know. but if we hadn't done that though, I don't know if we could have had Garrett. To be honest, uh, not with was... a good income. I mean, I wasn't working at all because I decided that after I got pregnant with Evelyn, I wasn't going to go back to work. Right. Um, just being that I was very, very sick and then I was taking care of a, you know, three-year-old. Mm -hmm. So I was like, nah, I'm just stay at home, and, which I'm grateful I was able to do that. And we had moved into an 800 square foot house. Hard as a spouse to see, uh, to see your wife like fight for every sip of water and every little piece of food just to try to have some nutrition. She's literally fighting for her child's life. And it is tough to watch. It was, <laughs> as, as wonderful as our, our children are, I just felt like you've had to work, I guess, and me somewhat, but you've had to work really hard to be able to have kids. So when we have birthdays like this, I'm just reminded of how hard uh, that we, I guess, as a family had to pull together as a team to be able yeah. to make this happen. And even extended family. Right. I mean, I stayed with his mom and dad for true. a few months. I was actually, I flew to Phoenix to stay with my family while he was still working. And this is when I was pregnant with Audrey yeah. and they took care of me down there. So it's like a, it's a big, it's a big deal. So really I had, a, we had a lot of help. Honestly, I'm very shocked that we do have three kids uh, because it was, I mean, we added it up and I think it was the total of over two years. Yeah that I spent sick. And guys, when she's thrown up 20 times a day, fighting for every little bit of drink, like I, we had to bring her to the hospital to get uh, IVs because she would um, get so dehydrated. Why are we sharing this? I, I don't know. A lot of you guys have been here for a while. So actually, some of you guys even actually had HG. I was just gonna say out. that, reached out. I had um, one of the happy peoples that reached out to me and saying that she was struggling with the same thing. Right. And I hope I was an encouragement to her. Um, as far as, because it's miserable. You honestly don't feel like there's any light at the end of the tunnel. Try to focus on that and maybe try to share that with her of like, it will get better. You will have an end. You have at least just nine months, nine months. And then at the end of that, for me, as soon as I delivered that baby, that nauseous, getting sick. I can vouch for that, yeah. Gone. 100% gone. It's, like, it's almost as like you're allergic to being pregnant. As that baby came out, I would not be sick at all anymore. I remember that. You're like, oh, babies, okay, can I? Can you give me a cheeseburger? I'm like, what? what? Like, I felt so good. because So then, like, the aftermath of everything of what is after labor was like, <laughs> nah. <laughs> I would prefer to do delivery 100 times over than... Yeah. Uh, being sick and I had right. I did I did do mine all natural yeah, you I didn't did. have I didn't have any um, any drugs or anything or um, any epidurals right and I, I was I was trying to push her to get them she's like no I will. <laughs> I'm just stubborn guys. redheads I'm just stubborn <laughs> redheads just just getting real here sometimes uh, 
I think maybe we shouldn't share struggles, but then seeing a lot of your comments, a lot of you guys, I, I, I think that actually helps when we start talking about things that we have fought for and uh, things that we've tried to overcome. So I think that does give encouragement maybe to some people. And if mm -hmm. it does, um, uh, that's awesome. But every time we have a birthday, I'm always reminded of how hard you had to work and how hard we had to work as a family to be able to bring our children into the world. Not the ones that always have it the hardest either. Oh, no. There are other women that have to be hooked up to a port of Zofran. Right. Where I just had to take a pill of it. Say so you're somewhere in the middle if mm -hmm. I had to pick. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in the middle. Yep. That's and, what I'm and I know a lot of a lot of women once they find out they have it, uh, you know, they can't have children because it's so bad. So I am grateful that it at least was manageable enough, at least as a family, for us to pull together for um, for you to be able to have children. Mm -hmm. It's been one, yeah, that's been one of the biggest struggles, and it makes us sad because I think we would have a lot more kids. We would if we if I didn't struggle so bad. With that, we are tired. We are wore out, but we appreciate you guys coming along, being a part, being part of Evelyn's birthday. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna call this a night. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye, YouTube channel. I swear that I